<laughs> you know, uh, perjure? Yes. Passive sense to become involved in or prove to be guilty of perjury? Yes. <laughs> the knowledge, uh huh. That passive sense? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I just wanted you to know that for every oath, badge, and attorney, yes, then that that in a passive sense, you do uh, you do know, yeah, you're involved in. Oh, you got an email, Seattle Police Department. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna sue you for perjury. Yes, lying about what you do know. Mm -hmm. Now, I want my sons, and I want to speak to Marilyn about what she wants to do. Yes. And um, the idea of the petitioner not having an attorney because she didn't sign the protection order? Oh, um, mm -hmm. she had the legal right to be informed of an obligation to have an attorney. Yes, considering the constraints of her personal life at the time of moving to Clallam County. Yes, and I'm going to sue this state and every state for not obligating an attorney's signature on these protection orders. Yes. Proof of notice and opportunity to be heard to the respondent. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. See, these five minors uh, named right here. Yeah, they're my sons. <laughs> and each one of them had the right to have their mother have an attorney. Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. And as much as you don't think this violates, it does. <laughs> she was incompetent when she motioned the court for a default dissolution of marriage. Yes. And you didn't hold her in contempt of that because I responded. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. and what you wanted me to do is respond with how much money I have and how much I can pay. <laughs> but that's not what the petition or the summons said. Yes. The question was right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The incompetence of the court. Yes. Now, it looks like we have a lot of incompetent individuals employed in law enforcement. Yeah. <laughs> and this passive sense to become involved in or prove to be guilty of perjury. Yes. Under oath, do you have any knowledge of fraud? <laughs> You're misprisoning your perjury. Yeah. Now, it is an actual felony for any oath of office to have knowledge of. Yes. In an active or passive sense, sense right now. I'll put you all in prison. <laughs> I'll put the whole nation in prison. <laughs> Now, I am one of those that you say, well, oh, he can't do it, but I can. <laughs> so you have the active perjure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to make oneself culpable of deliberately making false statements yes, or misleading statements while under oath. Yes. Every statement that my wife made while under oath. I'm going to want your signatures on every oath of perjury on every document that you've signed for the last 40 years. Yes. And if I find any forgeries of any signatures, yes, I'm going to take your assets. Yes. Now, I know the police and sheriff's department, they're reluctant to inform the state that I wasn't involved in any crimes. Yes. <laughs> and I've oftentimes said, well, I do want uh, all guilt or blame removed from myself. Yes. And then I do want to sue you, and I do want my procedural due process mm -hmm, uh, enforced. Now, um, this, this the 5th and 14th Amendment, uh, there's a safeguard against the unfair deprivation yes. of any indigent American. Mm -hmm. See, you, you didn't obligate me to get notice of court hearings. Yes. So the court wasn't obligated to inform me of my rights. Yes. Not just the rights at the time of arrest. Yes. The rights that take place during court hearings. Now, I've missed all those rights that the court could have informed me of. Yes. And that's what you're getting sued for. Yes. You're getting sued for refusing to obligate me to have notice of court hearings. So the court would be obligated to inform me of my right. Yes. To have an indigent attorney. Now, do you know of any felonies? Oh.